demonstration showing you how to use the bubble chrome extension plugin we built in the, including builder um, once you developed your application and added the plugin and set up all the relevant actions to make some functionality um, you can install your chrome extension to test it and it will be displayed in your extensions here and um, we're gonna just do that now we're gonna test out one um, easy demo uh, chrome extension we built using bubble and our plugin just to show you uh, and demonstrate a bit what is possible so we're going to open our demo extension so the extension is opened um, and what you what you're seeing here right now is uh, is a bubble application so um, this is completely built in bubble maybe you recognize the buttons and the great thing now is with our plugin and the um, way we created the communication um, you can manipulate and communicate and take data from the current page so quick example um, we can get the current URL right now we're on a Wikipedia page get, let's get the current URL yep that is correct so we're getting uh, as an action the current URL we have to state here um, we can even get the current language of the whole page so um, the extension will detect the main language of the current page this should be English so let's click get language yep it's English um, we can go ahead we can show an alert on the actual page okay you can define the value here what you can also do is you, you can highlight something so let's highlight a text together here maybe the first sentence let's open the chrome extension again and we can go ahead and say all right give me the highlighted text as you can see the highlighted text is immediately taken it's a low-cop development platform blah 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 which is the first sentence we highlighted you can go ahead and create a new bookmark um, and if you and you can define in your bu bubble app um, what the name and the url of this bookmark should be um, and um, you can also go ahead and open a new URL and again you can define what URL we define google.com so let's click that and so keep in mind this is from our bubble application we can trigger a browser action so let's click that and you can see Google is open so that that works out also quite fine now let's try something else um, let's again open the um, extension and you even have the ability to change input fields so the change action allows you to change the value of a specific input where you know the element ID of. And if you don't know the element ID beforehand, you can also change the value of all inputs on a page. On this page, we only have the Google search inputs. So let's change that value. And you can see, actually also the buttons were changed, but now we have, um, this is populated with a test value, okay?